Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I filmed this look on the Ariana Grande music video Break Free. Brain fart. Throughout the video she just had a simple brown light smoky eye and just her normal winged liner, some big lashes and a nude matte lip. Comment down below and give this video a big thumbs up, it really helps me out a lot. Make sure you subscribe if you are new to this channel and yeah, if you want to see how I created this look then just keep watching. Bye! So to start out this look we are going to start with a base and for that I am using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Ariana has quite rounded off eyebrows, they're not too highly arched in the lower half. So I'm going to try and replicate that. I'm going to fill my brows in mostly for my shape because that's what suits my face shape. Now I am all done with my brows. I think we will go on to the eye makeup. I'm going to use one of my Maybelline colour tattoos because she's got a really bronzy sort of smoky eye like smoky eye going on so for that I'm going to be using my colour tattoo in Bad to the Bronze and I'm just using my finger because the product applies and blends out a lot easier on my finger. And then I use my pinky just to blend out the edges. So for the eyeshadow today I'm going to be using my Naked One palette. And I'm just going to start with the colour Naked which is just a soft medium brown colour. And I'm just running that through my crease as our transition colour. And it's just a nice, warm sort of brown. And I like to put down a softer brown before I start putting the other colours because it just makes the rest of the shadows blend out a lot more seamlessly. Next I'm going in with a denser brush and this is just a brush that came with my Urban Decay palettes. And I'm going into the colour Buck and this is just a slightly darker, a few shades darker than the colour Naked and I'm focusing this more in the outer corner and blending that slightly into the crease. And then going back in with your fluffy brush and just blending the outer corner out. Her makeup was reasonably subtle, like the eye, the eye makeup was reasonably subtle, wasn't anything too dramatic. And now for the lid to just set what we have down there on the lid, I'm going into Sidecar. And I'm just going to brush this over. But she did have a slight sheen to the lid. But mostly everything else was matte. For a highlight on my brow bone, I'm just going to take the colour Half Baked and a little bit of Virgin. I'm just going to place that just above the eyebrow. And for in the inner corner of the eye, I'm going to use Half Baked. And then I'm going to place a little bit of Virgin on top. Now for the liquid liner, Ariana Grande is known for her cat eye liquid liner. So I'm going to try and do this best as I can on camera. So I'm just starting from where my lower lash line starts and I'm dragging a line out towards my brow and then I am just bringing that line in. And then meeting it up to my lash line. And now I'm just dipping my brush in for a little bit more product and I'm just going to fill in. Just dragging that into the inner corner. Now for the other eye. Now you can take your wing to however size that you want. I just 
decided I'm going with a dramatic wing today, obviously. You can never, ever, ever, ever win with winged liner. So when you're happy with the way your wings look, we're going to go on to the rest of the face. And to start off with, I'm just going to conceal underneath my eyes. I am just going to highlight just down my nose and on my chin. Just so that the lightness on my eyes ties in otherwise you just have dramatically bright eyes and it can look a little bit funny to blend that all in i'm just using this wee precision angle top kabuki really when concealing really focus the concealer on the inside and just on the outer corner part of your eye because those areas of your eyes get rather dark and that's what can cause you to look tired so I'm just patting this in rather than sweeping because otherwise you lose coverage when you sweep and then when I'm happy with it I will just give it an extra pat out with my foundation brush I'm going to use my Australis Fresh and Flawless and just a fluffy face brush and I'm just going to tap that on my skin once again just like with your concealer you should tap the powder on your face compared to sweep it so that the brushes don't pick up on the liquid and it doesn't move your foundation so if you have concealed blemishes and stuff like that you want to tap over them with your powder rather than sweep because then you're losing the coverage that you just lay down with your concealer in the music video Ariana's not wearing too much face color like color on her face so I'm just going to go in with my bronzer just to bronze my skin up and this is the Bobbi Brown bronzer in golden light and I'm just using a big fluffy brush this is my Estee Lauder just I'm guessing it's a powder brush and I'm just going to bronze up my skin she didn't have what really looks like a much of a blush on so I'm just placing this in the areas where the sun would naturally hit now I'm just going in for a contour and for that I'm going to use my Select Contour Kit in the colour Medium and I'm just using this random brush that I use for contouring and I'm just going to use that to carve out my cheekbones. With new contour and contour. <laughs> Next I'm going in with blush and the blush I'm using today is this colour here from Sleek and it is called um, Antique. It's just a mauve kind of natural colour. As I said she was really, really natural colours on her face. And this just gives us a little hint of a bronzy sort of glow. And I'm just popping this on the apples of my cheeks and then blending that back towards my hairline. Now to finish up with the eyes, I'm going back in with my dense brush and I'm going in with the colour Naked and just using the side of the brush, tap that into the colour and I'm just going to run this on the lower lash line. Now I'm going in with the colour Buck and on the same way I'm just going to buff that on the lower lash line. Now going in with my mascara and for that I am using the L'Oreal Volumina, Voluminous Carbon Black and I'm just going to give my eyelashes a good few coats of this. No Ariana Grande tutorial will be complete without lashes so we're also going to pop some of them on. The lashes that I'm going to be using are these Red Cherry Lashes and these are in the, I was about to say the colour, these are in the number 48. So I'm just picking up the lash and I'm going to be using my Duo Adhesive as always. So when you think the glue is tacky, it should take about 30 seconds or so. You just want to pop it on your eye as close to the lash line as possible. 
I like to put the outer corner on first and then position the inner corner on. And then you just want to wait for the glue to dry. So while that's drying, I'm just going to pop on my highlighter and I'm using my new Chi Chi highlighter and this is in Natural Wool of Shimmer and this is a dupe for the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Bricks. So for that, I'm just going to use another one of my weird no name dome shape brushes and I'm just going to take the first sort of two shades to pop this on my cheekbones. And I'm just going to put this also on the bridge of my nose and on the top of my lips. For my lower lash line I'm just going to put down a nude pencil. And this is just my one from NYX and this is just going to open my eyes up a bit more because I have she has very large doe eyes and we're trying to mimic that. Now for mascara again I'm going in with my Great Lash from Maybelline. Okay, so we are nearly done. Lastly, to finish up this look, I am using my lip liner from Rimmel London. And this is in the shade Exaggerate. Um, in the movie, she had a very matte, almost Kylie Jenner style lip. So we're going to use this. Blend that into the lip so it's not so obvious. 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 And I'm actually just going to fill in the rest of my lips with this colour. If you're not into this matte look, then you could totally put a gloss on. You could use actually any lip colour with this look since the eyes are just so neutral. So, yeah. Be creative and do whatever you want. That's the whole thing with makeup. It's not like a closed box. It's a think out of the box. <sighs> Trying to be wise. Failing. So here is our finished look. Along with the also side note Kylie Jenner lip. Which I'm pretty stoked that I've just found a cheap alternative to. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed getting ready with me with this inspired look from the music video Break Free. Make sure that if you did like it, you give this video a thumbs up as it really helps me out a lot. And also, check down in the description bar for all my information where you can find me. I'm wanting to sort of connect with the people that are watching me a bit more. So, yeah. Follow me on all my social medias where you'll see updated pictures and whatnot of myself. I don't think I have anything else to say so I hope you all have a lovely day and I will see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this back to school look. I love seeing everybody's back to school.